Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to our Let's Play and welcome back to Callan. And as you can see, I actually finally decided to start a new day. So let's uh, listen to Isabel first and then kind of talk about what's going to happen today. Good morning everyone. Right now on Callan, it's 9.21 a.m. on Tuesday, July 19th, 2022. And as you might be able to guess, that is not quite true. It is currently actually, oh my god, it is the 19th of August. So we're now uh, a month a month ahead in real life, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't have any new big news to share with you all today, but I would like to touch on one seasonal topic. I was taking a walk on the beach this morning and spotted these rare colored shells called summer shells. As the name suggests, they only wash up during the summertime. Find a few yourself and you've got an excellent excuse to craft some fun summer memories. All right, thank you, Isabel. Oh, she's sending us, I think, the wreath, correct? I send a recipe for a shell wreath to everyone who has a DIY recipes app. You should try to make one. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment over island. I almost said environment over island, but no. Um, the shell wreath is actually quite useful. I think we're going to be, maybe we're going to be putting that on some doors or something. Um, all right. We're back on Callan. We're back with, uh, yeah, I think we were collecting all the wood because we chopped down all the trees. Okay, so what's going to happen today? Um, I started a new day, which means there should be... I am a little confused as to why the DLC thing isn't introduced to us right now. I don't really know why that is. I'm going to have to like Google or maybe you'll, you'll, you'll tell me in the comments as well. Um, if there's something else that I like a requirement that I have to meet. But basically, um, last time that we were on this island, or last time, well, yeah, last time we were on this island, we chopped down all of our trees, except for the coconut trees, because um, we are going to get, like, the fruit and stuff. We still have to make a bunch of money and all that. Um, and then the last episode of this little play, we were actually doing the mood board for Callan. So if you haven't seen that one, uh, I definitely recommend checking it out. I also will try, and I've been thinking, I think maybe I should put the mood board on my card so that you can kind of take a look at it a little bit more quickly if you ever want to. And I'll also like try, if I do updates to it, because I do do that sometimes when I do mood boards, I like go back and change a couple of things that if you want to look at it, there's like a quick way for you to access it instead of either having to go back to the video or probably not having like an updated version whatsoever. Oh, we have a hundred bugs in total. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, but still, you know, Flick isn't showing his face. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, maybe is maybe the, because like our shop hasn't upgraded or something. Maybe that one's, that one's tied together or something. I don't actually know. Oh my God, this was just new last uh, episode. And it was terrible to catch because it was so fast. Look at how fast that is. That's like so rude. I'm not that... <laughs> I swear, this butterfly is like actually rude though. It's too fast. I'm going to try and get it because I'm pretty sure that it sells for quite a bit of money. But um, it's also way too fast. Oh my god, all these but. Okay, I have to practice this again. I haven't played in a, in a little bit, like, catching bugs and stuff, so I'm going to have to practice this again. We're just going to get these because I feel like they might give us a bit of um, money. And then I might enact the bell boom ordinance just so that when uh, Flick actually gets here that we get a bunch more for the... Um, for all the butterflies that we do have. Although, I'm pretty sure the bell boom ordinance also means that everything is, like, more expensive as well, so... Wait, where, where did it go? I don't know. We're going to get this butterfly though. Also, we're going to keep an eye out for any balloons that are going to fly across because um, there's still a bunch of like summer recipes that we can probably get. Yeah, there's new fossils that are spawning, but I'm not sure I want to get those just yet. Um, but basically, basically our big plan here on Callan is still, oh, Coach! Hey, Malim, got a sec? There's something that's been on my mind. I'm on the fence about whether I should leave this island. I've just been in a slump lately. No matter what kind of weight training I do, I don't get the soreness I want. Maybe working out a new place would change my mood and give me some of that muscle soreness back. Oh, uh, Coach, good luck. Because you are not on the mood board that I have right here. I don't see you anywhere there, so... Bye bye Oh, well, thanks for the laughs. I won't forget you. Take care of Callan's double. I will. Coach, thank you for starting this island with me. Um, with us, of course. Uh, but you are, 
yeah, you're not in the final lineup. So I guess it's like the bye coach. And then we'll have to see. I mean, we still have two open spots too. So we could do some villager hunting maybe. Um, I did just finish my island, my, my lush green swampy island. Uh, like I literally, before I recorded this, well, actually before I recorded this, I just had breakfast. <laughs> but before I had breakfast, I actually just recorded the island tour for that video. So um, I will be restarting it and like clear out my entire storage and everything. So uh, what I might do is I might bring over a couple of Nook Mile tickets um, and then we can maybe hunt and maybe we'll find someone who we want. Which is actually something I'd like to talk to you about because um, so a lot of, okay, first of all, I'd like to apologize because I'm really terrible right now at responding to comments, but I, I do want to tell you, I read every single comment, I, every single comment that is under any of my videos, I do read every single one of them, but for some reason, and I feel like with a few chats that we've been having on stream as well, a lot of you will probably understand and maybe even like relate to this, but I feel like, um, Oh, butterfly. Also, maybe we should already get like a few tree saplings and then make sure to flatten a good portion so that we can plant some new trees um, for all the different items. Oh my god! Yes! A Queen Alexandra's birdwing! Okay. Yes, thank you, thank you very much. And we're getting some miles for that too. Um, I'm getting distracted again because stuff is just too exciting okay we have a new butterfly we need to put that down by the museum and then we got some nook mouth plus for catching bugs very good because we desperately freaking need the miles we have so many things to like purchase um and then we got more like separate yeah like 40 40 uh, bucks like 40 different bugs very good um Okay, let's also find a new outfit for today, maybe. But yeah, um, I have been terrible at responding about uh, to comments just because like I read them all, but then especially with the little real talk that we've had the other day and uh, all of that kind of stuff, respond like the the comments and responses to it have just been so incredibly kind and like literally paragraphs of text that I don't just want to go ahead and like like and be done with and just move on but at the same time i i don't wanna I, I i get overwhelmed thinking about responding to it like i'll i'll sit down and be like okay i'll write like a nice response but then it, it gets so overwhelming and then i just don't do it at all it's not good it's definitely not good oh also wait this is i think the first time we're shopping for an outfit as, as you know the theme so maybe we can now get, like try and go for the actual for the actual style, which I, I don't see anything like really that all, that great today. I mean, oh wait, I quite like the ribbon sandals and I quite like the slip on loafers as well. We might have to get those in a couple of different colors. I don't think I'll be getting this small one. I did buy like a different hat though, which maybe we could put on. And then I did see that I have no idea what I want to wear yet. I mean, we could go for like a custom design too, but we could go ahead and like Get some lace shorts? I've never seen this skirt either. Have I ever seen this like rose print skirt? I don't think so. And then, I mean, the lace shorts are actually pretty cute. Maybe we should get these in blue and then... <laughs> Wait, that's... <laughs> that is so not me, oh my God. Okay, maybe we'll go and do this instead or get like white shorts and then like the shoes. I like the slip on loafers. I also think the ribbon sandals could be very cute and like probably white, blue, and pink. But I might want to wear these. Oh my God, this is like so not me. But looking at the mood board, that fits. So let's purchase this and actually wear it. And then we're just gonna, I think, briefly go inside again and uh, and try and purchase the other things. What is? What did you put out? Okay, no, we can't purchase any of that. Great, okay. Um, so yeah, I've been kind of not great at, at answering just because I get like super overwhelmed, but I do read everything. So if you have commented under a video, um, I did read it, absolutely. And I've seen some of you make some really awesome like recommendations in terms of like um, areas that we could build, like little uh, little ideas for, for specific things on the island or also villagers, uh, storylines for villagers. And I'm really excited because 
that made me realize that I think, you know, creating, oh my God, that's kind of cute together as well. Let's actually wear that. Maybe we can find some smaller socks that don't have anything green on them. Um, yeah, but it made me realize that I think creating this island with you all is going to be so much fun because we get to like share ideas and kind of come up with stuff together. And I think that it's just going to be, oh, it's going to be great. So I'm really excited. Um, of course, um, our first like big thing that we still, oh wait, dang it. We have to talk to Sable. All right, let's go back in. Um, the first like big thing that we still have to do before we can really start like decorating i know like i keep saying this and we've been saying this for like a lot of episodes now and i keep talking about like the code shopping and the the treasure islands and stuff that's going to happen um and it will but it might just take like a tiny bit longer but right now the first thing that we still have to take care of is flattening this island so that we can we can really start like you know um putting up a tree storage and you know preparing everything Oh, hello, Millie. You seem pretty chipper. You're always making the effort to stop by, and I can't so much as offer you a cup of tea. I'm sorry. If we had just one more pair of claws around here to help out, I, I might be able to chat more. Oh, not this again. Come on, Sable. You gotta stop torturing yourself like this. Our sister, Label, went out into the world to pursue her dream of being a big-time designer, and we promised her we'd work like hedgehogs to take care of the shop while she's gone. Remember, sis? How could I forget when I've got you? But you're right, Mabes. I'll get my head out of the clouds. That said, Meline, I can't offer sparkling conversation, but I hope we'll keep stopping by anyway. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> and then with our new coastal outfit, let's go ahead and see what today holds. So I did start a new day because I thought that it, it's about time for us to, you know, um, find some new items. Like because we haven't been playing in on new days, we've been stuck on like the same items and also the same DIYs. I, I'm finding a flooring again y'all they want me to do interior decorating i think um i found the jungle flooring but yeah so finding new items every day finding new diy recipes i, I feel like we should we should really get a like a start on that one so that we acquire some cute stuff as we work our way towards flattening this island oh this is not great <laughs> Okay, that's not great. I mean, I am going to get the, um, what is it called? Dinnerware, because that's always great for, like, interior stuff. So I'm going to get that one. I will also maybe get the lawnmower. Um, maybe there's, like, another color, but I honestly don't see myself using the other two things. So that's probably a no for me. Uh, let's check the cabinets. Um, and see if there's any wallpaper. I mean, the pink heart pattern wall is kind of cutesy for this theme. Maybe it has like an accent wall somewhere. So maybe we're gonna get, gonna get that one too. And then let me see about the flowers. Oh yeah, I've got cosmos, lilies, and roses. So that's not really great. I think I also still need some of these things here. Um, maybe we should just bite the bullet and get them now. Wildest Dreams DIY. Let me let me go get this one. And let's hope that it's not like I haven't already purchased this one. Because then maybe we're gonna get some new ones. Maybe one of these actually includes the the um what is it called? The clothesline, because I really want that one. Like I think that one's gonna be really important. Okay, uh test your DIY skills and DIY for beginners. I have like a strong feeling we've got the DIY for beginners. But I might actually just go ahead and get it. It's okay. Like, we're going to get more money. That's not... We might not have the most right now. But, you know, over time, you always kind of acquire more. So that's okay. Okay. Anything else look interesting? Um, Actually, yes. Let me get this. It's only 480. He doesn't tell me that I have it. But I don't think they generally do. Like, I don't think they're going to be like, Oh, you already purchased that. You don't need to spend the money. Instead, they're going to be like, oh, yes, give money, give money. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And we're done. Yes. OK. And then I think also the cooking recipes were um, are maybe interesting. Plus, I'm going to check if I've if I've got the um, slingshot. There was something I was missing as well, I believe. Because I want to see if I've got that one. But I, regardless, I just hope we're going to have new DIYs to do. 
<laughs> okay, thank you, Tommy. I really appreciate that. And then we're gonna end this for now. Wait, let me see. So we've got the flimsy recipes and the slingshot, ladder, balding pole, pitfall seed. Oh, the ladder setup kit recipe. I think we need that one. Plus maybe the pitfall seed, which also give, if we craft it and we fall into it, we get more, um, we get some more miles. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, we're getting a little bit of new stuff at least. Ocarina, no clothesline. Okay, but we do get a couple of things that are quite cute. Okay, I can live with that. I can live with that. Um, all right, let me see. We've got a ladder and a vaulting pole. We don't have the slingshot. Okay, but we have the flimsy stuff. We've got a flimsy axe, a flimsy shovel, um, rod, net, watering can. Okay, so we got everything flimsy, but we do need the slingshot and we do also need um, the ladder setup kit because that one's quite cute as well. I think we might... We might use that from time to time as well. So let me get this ladder setup kit. Yes, I'll buy that one. And then um, the slingshot. Yes. Oh my God, we're spending so much money. <laughs> we're spending so much money, help. But it's okay. Like I said, we're going to get it back. We're going to get it back. Okay, and then pitfall seat. I'll also buy that one. Thank you very much. Also, actually, I might go ahead and like... Um, bring the butterflies home and then I might grab like a bunch of weeds and also sell them because it gives us some money and it also actually wait who was here today was it leaf no leaf was here I think the other day so um, I was someone else which we also should check out because maybe they have some uh, necessary stuff for us okay and then let's go outside again we apparently got some miles we have to put the butterfly by the museum and bring the others home and of course along the way we're gonna collect any shells that that we'll find okay wait miles first we got cookbook oh yeah because now we have uh t the 10 the 10 recipe threshold very good and then we also of course got some new recipes yes there we go awesome plus the pitfall which we should probably do tree branches and weeds um, there's a few other things that we can do for some miles, like uh, the manila clams, I think they're called. Uh, like we can dig some of those up and that should also give us some miles. All right, let me just briefly check if that's the only things that are still missing from being donated. Queen Alexandra's bird wing, yes. Agrius butterfly or Agrius, I think we, we kind of uh, discovered last time. I actually don't know. <laughs> Oh, jewel beetle. Okay, I have not I have not donated a jewel beetle. Right, that's very good to know cuz you know, we don't want to sell stuff that we haven't donated yet. Okay, what does that look like again? Jewel beetle, right. Do we have that in our pockets? No. All right. Uh then I would say it's time for a trip to Oh, it's kicks here today. Oh, kicks is good. But yeah, it's time for a trip back home and uh, time to swap some some uh, critters. Um, okay, so yeah, I'll try and put the I'll try and put the mood board somewhere. I'll let you know as soon as I've done it, which you know will probably be very soon. But I'll let you know as soon as I've done it where you can find it. And then I might put some, I might do some updates to it. But I, I was thinking that like as we work our way towards the Three, not the three stars, we have reached that. As we work our way towards the flat island, which I hope is gonna be soon. Jewel Weedle, there it is, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we're gonna keep that. We're gonna put everything else in storage for now and then get out like a couple of, of weeds and maybe some, some fruit as well, since we are just gonna plant some new ones. And so we don't need that much and we can sell it, get some money, get some, get some um, miles for it too. And as we work our way towards the flattening of the island, I was thinking we could, you know, uh, start a new day every once in a while just so that we discover some new items and there's a bit of a mixture of different things that we can do uh, and not just not just shovel dirt or like, you know, close the water and stuff. <gasps> Look at us like storing stuff, bringing us so freaking many miles. Okay, this is good. This is, this is heckin' good. Also, because I still have not like purchased any of the... 
any of the stuff, um, any of like the hairstyles or anything like that. Do we have anything miscellaneous? Okay. Um, let me move, let me move the wardrobe over here maybe. And then didn't I have like a mirror as well? I think that I did, but I'm not, eh. I, I felt like I crafted one, but maybe I haven't. Maybe I just got the recipe for it and I haven't crafted it. Honestly, that could be very true. All right, we're just making room for more stuff. We do have a room in the back, which we could clutter up as well, because we're already at 200 out of, or 200, 203 out of 240. Okay, and then I was going to say, let's check the wardrobe and let's check if there is maybe like a different outfit that we could do. Um... I think as for now, like I'm actually okay with this. I just want to see, cause I did purchase this. I purchased this and I put it off of something like random, but I already had this theme in mind. So we could do that. We currently don't really have any better socks. So we might go with the country ones for now until we find some smaller, cuter ones. But maybe this is, um, Maybe this is the outfit for now. Oh my god. There is a couple of things here, but I don't think any of them are... Oh yeah. Remember when I bought this dress? I desperately wanted to get in blue, but I really resisted at the time because I felt like I wasn't going to get away with it unnoticed. So I didn't purchase it in, uh, in blue, which is kind of sad because now I want it. And we don't know when it's going to be back in store, but it's, it's okay. All right, let's get a couple of fruit maybe. Um, see that the peaches don't really matter. I'm going to keep the peaches because like they're, they're like the native fruit. And so they're not going to really give us a whole bunch of money. And instead we can maybe use them for eating whenever we have to dig up some stuff. And then I'm just going to go to a whole bunch of weeds. And I think I'm going to just quickly also get the tree branches so we can go ahead and, um, do I have a watering can? I don't. So we can go ahead and uh, craft the pitfall seed. Um, speaking of watering can, because I was about to like just bury the the gyroid fragment. Um, I think I don't want to breed flowers on this island. Uh, I know I'll do like a. I know I said I'll do like a mixture of treasure islands and actually discovering the things on like as we do the let's play and stuff. Um, and I mean that, I still mean that because I feel like discovering some items together will be a lot of fun maybe, until maybe a certain point or except for maybe some specific ones. Wasn't there just a shell here? I saw the little water squirting. Oh, there it is. There it is. If we see them, we might as well just, you know, get them. Um, but one thing I have absolutely no desire to do is to breed flowers. I just cannot be bothered to to do that. And I know that we're, so we are gonna be using, I think, blue and um, pink. Oh, actually, wait, let's put the pitfall here. Blue and pink, which are, you know, hybrid flowers. So you would have to, like, you would have to breed them. But I just, I just don't wanna do it. I just don't. <laughs> I hate breeding flowers and then especially so the best thing is if you get people to come over to your island and also water them because then the chance of you getting hybrid flowers is a lot higher but I don't think I'll be doing that um, and so it's just I feel like that's just going to be a pain so I feel like we might not do that and yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I hope that's okay. So I think we're just going to get uh, flowers from like a treasure island when we go there, uh, which I don't know if we should do it before we we have the, um, the, the code shopping done or after. Okay, let's see. Wild Child Troublemaker. All right. Our um, pit e party. Enjoy some bonus nook wells to commemorate the creation of your first pit. Just make sure you don't fall victim to your own handiwork. Yeah, I did. This is why, this is how I got this one. Um, life is full of peaks and valleys, hills and pits. When you fall into a pit, you learn a lesson. Hmm? Be more careful next time. Yes, don't feel too bad though. You're getting some bonus nook miles for your fall. Great. And with that, with a bunch of new miles, we also still have to move all of this stuff, by the way, and get, oh my God, I missed two pieces of wood. Why didn't, why didn't anyone say anything? <laughs> 
<laughs> we should get some stuff for our nook miles and we should uh move all these things still and then we can also get rid of all the like red and yellow flowers as well um and we're oh we're getting a boot we're getting a dirty used boot from the box which is absolutely incredible <laughs> Okay, four days in a row at 150 bonus miles. We'll gladly take those and then we'll actually go ahead and redeem miles as well. So let me see. The first thing I think I want to do is get the cliff construction permit just so we've got that one purchased. Um, it's like a hefty price, but it's, it's done now and it doesn't have to be done again. And then I also think I want to get the... Um, I want to get the custom designs pathing tool because I don't think I've gotten that one yet. I think the only ones I got were like a dirt path maybe, or maybe not even that. Maybe I just got like the waterscaping. Let me see. So arch tile, brick, dark dirt, sandstone. Yeah, I haven't gotten anything. So I think I want to get the custom design path permit and then we'll see what else. Um, we might spend the other stuff on other redemptions first before we move on to that because I don't know how much of the of the in-game pathings we're gonna use. Um, someone also asked in the comments uh, if I'm gonna be using the in-game like sand path as well for this island because the, the path that inspired this is like a sand path. I actually don't think so because it looks very, very different. And the idea that I had behind the sand path when I saw it was basically that I wanted it to be as though people went to the beach and then kind of tracked the dirt back home, you know? Oh, we're gonna get custom fencing as well. Oh my god, my miles. My miles. <laughs> also, by the way, I do think that once we go to Treasure Islands, we're gonna be able to like clutter up our miles a lot. Which might also be considered cheating. Although no, it's actually it's just as though you're visiting like your friends. So that's okay. That's okay, because I could just, I mean, technically I could just visit myself with one of my other islands and then kind of get miles that way, which is also basically cheating, but it's fine. It's fine, I promise. Mm. It's just always, it, 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 you just have to do whatever is fun to you. That's really what matters, you know? Okay, uh, what do we get? Oh, well, that gave us fencing. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting, I didn't know that. Well, well, what do we have here? Haven't seen your face before. The name's Kix. You might you might have already guessed it, but I'm the source for shoes, socks, and bags around here. I swing by this island every now and again. I look forward to seeing you around, chum. All right? All right. If it's all right with you, why not take a look-see at my offerings on this fine day? Yes, please. Ooh, I mean, the soccer socks could be, like, a good, um, a good idea. Plus, I do like the the slipper thingies. Give me give me the socks, please, and then I'll buy the slipper thingies. And I also do like that hand knit pouch, the green one. I don't think we're gonna be able to use it on this island in terms of like outfits, but it's quite pretty. So maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, and then the I might have to take a look at that pink one. That might be cute. Let's see. Handed pouch? Oh, faux fur? I don't know. That's not really my style. I feel like this is this is more my style, even though it's like green. I don't. It might exist in other colors, though. Obviously, we're not gonna be able to customize it because it's like a a bag. But um, we'll see. I feel like I've seen that one in like pink, actually. Okay, and then it was time for. Look at that. You you do like a couple of dailies and I think that we're already up to like a uh, half an hour pretty much. I'm not going to end just yet, I think. Like I'm going to aim for maybe like more 40 minute episodes or something. Because you seem quite happy about the longer episodes for the last couple of, of times. But um, it's everything is so time consuming, literally. All right. I have a couple of things for you to purchase from me, please. Um, I'm going to give you some weeds and then all of this and then I think that's it. The rest is not going to be for you. Let's see. 17,000. I mean, I'll take that. I'll get some miles for it too, I think. So 17,000 is absolutely okay with me. Greedy weeder. And we get two already, which is good. Okay, so 300 miles and 500 probably. Yeah. 
Let's see. Uh, Nook Inc. salutes you for your beautification efforts. Nook Inc. rewards you with Nook Miles for selling weeds. Nook Inc. is quite generous, no? Sure, sure. And then generally, because we've sold some stuff, we also get some miles. Okay. So if you do some things every day, like that brings you miles, I guess. But um, at the start, it's really kind of... It's really kind of sad. I mean, I don't even have like reactions yet. <laughs> I don't even have reactions. And then what What am I going to put on a thumbnail? I guess the main thing that happened today was probably us getting a new outfit. <laughs> Which I mean, we look quite coastal if I do say so myself. We, we do look quite coastal. I want to get different glasses, I think. But um, I quite like the hat already, I think. Um, okay, let me, let me think. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do, I think? I'm quickly gonna look up how you get the DLC, and I'll be, like, right back in a second. Okay, so apparently your resident services needs to be upgraded, which mine is. You have to have, like, a tent, and you have to have attended Nook's DIY workshop, which all those things, oh, dang it, we, all of those things I have done, so the only thing that I can imagine that is has gone wrong is that for some reason it's not downloaded anymore, which I don't know why that is. But I have gone ahead and just kind of clicked the please download again button. So, um, oh wait, wrong. First of all, to hold, then ladder. So maybe we're going to have it, or hopefully we're going to have it next time. I, bet, I guess after this episode, I'll, I'll briefly close out the software so that it kind of downloads. And then we're going to see really weird because i didn't change anything like i had this i had it here all along i'm pretty sure i'm i'm not sure but we'll see we will uh we will figure it out and we'll get the dlc here as well and then we can find some more cute items because um i'm i'm gonna be on the hunt for wheat fields y'all because that's very very important all right water uh Time to close the water, I guess. I feel like we're going to do it in little increments because I don't want to be spending... It takes a lot of time to, to flatten stuff. Like, I, all of my flattening videos have been hours and hours and hours. And I don't want to sit here for, like, I don't know, 10 episodes in a row just kind of flattening stuff because, for one, that would get very boring for you and me. And number two, I don't even know what I want to talk about all that much, you know? <laughs> like, it's great if the game gives you a little bit of guidance for the conversations, you know, like when we started today. Of course, I can talk about all the new outfits and the new items and the things we're going to do that day and just kind of comment on it that way, but if, if I just shovel the water and shovel dirt and stuff, obviously conversation is just not going to be as easy, so <laughs> I think we're just going to do a good mixture of every once in a while doing some other stuff. I mean, now that we have the option to, um, to villager hunt, honestly, we might go ahead and do that. I don't know how many villagers we're going to go look for before I maybe pick up someone, or I could also... Technically, we could still autofill. Uh, we also still have some open plots, and I do have Flurry and T-Bones uh, amiibos, so we can already get those in. I don't think I have any of the other amiibos of the people that I want. So that might not be an option, but we'll see. Speaking of, by the way, so I'm looking at my mood board right now, so I'm going to read this out to you, and hopefully you're going to know who I'm talking about. But basically, the villagers I knew that I wanted to have on this island are, well, Flurry and T-Bone, so small white hamster, and then a, um, like, grayish blue, or bluish gray uh, bull, I guess. Um, Hornsby, who we already have, so we don't have to hunt for him. And then I really want to have uh, Gala, who is a a pink pig with some flowers on her head, uh, Tutu, a big white bear with some like pink accents. I want to have Daily, who is a lazy monkey with like um, a checkered sweater type of outfit. Those are the ones that I really want to have. And then I've been reading some of your comments and um, someone said Mitzi who I don't know why I didn't put them on the mood board because Mitzi seems to be quite a good option. Um, I'm really warming up to the idea of Alice on the island and I also think that we might actually get Antonio, so the, the, the black and white anteater, because someone said, oh my god, this was super cute, uh, that there could be like a jock on the island who had to stop kind of, can I close maybe the waterfall first so that it's not like loud when we approach it? 
Um, someone said that maybe there should be, a, there could be a jock living on the island who had like an injury and therefore couldn't like continue the the actual like profession that he wanted to do. You know, like the the um, professional sports. Like he had to kind of stop that, and so he then moved on to this resort island, maybe even to just cure his injury first. But then he decided to kind of give some very low. Um, low intensity kind of workouts for the residents. I think this is like a very cute idea. Um, again, we're gonna have to try and be careful to keep the balance between like a a cool storyline um, area type island and not ha having it be like a normcore kind of looking island uh, when we like fence off all these different areas. So it's it's gonna be interesting here and there, but I think that's a cute idea, so I'm coming around to the idea of Antonio, because I think Antonio was the only jock that we had on the mood board. Um, as for others, I also... <laughs> I read this comment about Sky, and it had me cackling, and I can't stop thinking about it, because someone said that for, they, they want to like Sky, who is... Um, Sky is, I think, the right the right uh, name, I'm, I think so. Sky is like a blue wolf who has like cloudy hair super cute in theory but they said like for some reason i want to like her but like her her eyes with the one singular lash like pointing up terrifies me and ever since i read that i cannot stop thinking about it and i can't unsee it like i was just before this as we were having breakfast um my friend and i were watching a stream and the person there actually had sky on on their island <laughs> And I just can't unsee it now, so I don't. I think Sky is not gonna be on the island. Um, and then honestly, we're already getting like quite close to filling up the villagers, and we already have like multiples of, of some personalities. I think uh, so. We we have to be a little bit careful ab about it. Um, also, a few people like recommended. I think Piper, who is a bird, and then Blanche, who is an ostrich. I don't really love the birds and ostriches, I think, so I, I feel like we're probably not going to get those and uh, like no eagles and there were like a couple of others that I read and I was like, yeah, in theory, I get why you're saying it, but it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> so we're going to see, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I want to go and do a little bit of a villager hunt now that coach has asked to move out because I feel like that'd be fun, but um. Oh, I also don't know how I'm going to do the villager hunt because the villager hunt is one one of those things as well where you just repeatedly have to hit things and, um, I mean, buttons. I mean, you can hit rocks as well, but I was talking about you have to just repeatedly hit the buttons to kind of make the conversations go faster and then everything's very repetitive and kind of slightly annoying. So I don't really know if, um, <sighs> if that's a good idea to do on, on on video, like unedited, but we're gonna try it. We are going to attempt it. If stuff gets like too weird, I might also just edit out some waiting times or something whenever we like fly or, or whatever. Um, I remember those were like some of the first videos that I did on this channel because villager hunts used to be like such a big thing. Um, and it was really interesting because I always like in between the different islands and in between the hunting, I would just sat here in silence until I flew on to the next island, which is super weird while you're doing it. But um, actually that made the editing quite easy because you can easily see when you don't talk. And so you just kind of edit those those pieces out. Um, so maybe I'll go and do something like that. It kind of probably depends on how many tickets it needs. We might do like 10 tickets just in real time and then go for uh, a bit of a faster faster um, approach after it or something. Um, plus, of course, the villager hunting would be great because we can like, we can still shake trees and, and all of that, you know, and get some items. We can find more recipes. Obviously we can, oh my, my foot is falling asleep. Oh no, ow. Oh. Um, we can also, of course, go to Captain Tours to find new recipes, but the Captain Tours are heckin' expensive. They cost like a thousand miles, so we can't do them too often, at least for now, um, until we've like acquired quite a few miles. Which, oh my god, I'm so sad because like I finished my, I finished my lush green swampy island, which I feel like maybe later today I'll go and flatten as well, and then, you know, delete. Unfortunately. 
because that's usually what I do once I finish an island and finish decorating it. I'll go and delete it so that I can start like a new aesthetic and have like separate dream addresses and stuff. But um, over the time on that island, also of course because I do I did do like a whole bunch of like treasure island trips, so um, on separate days you always get miles for it because you fly to like friends essentially. And um, I have oh my god I feel like I think I have like a hundred. 140,000 miles on that island or something and mind you I have not even because the museum there I've kept small so I have never really focused on like bug catching or anything like that so I don't have any miles in that department but I still have like so many miles saved up for some reason um oh there's one more bit of water on the club <gasps> there's a money spot okay let's go get the money spot because of course and we're gonna have to transfer it over to behind our house. I hope that the trees grow there. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it um, because we don't want to put them there and not have them grow and then, you know, lose out on a whole bunch of money. Okay, 10,000 goes into the hole and then we'll take oh, we'll take the sapling with us. It will glitch there for a second. Um, wait, what did I want? Oh yeah, I saw the 1,000 bells and I wanted to put that. Also, I still have that I still have that bug uh, in my pockets that needs to be by the museum. I'm not gonna get the fossils right now. I can't even really tell you why, but I'm not gonna <laughs> not gonna get them right now. Um, there we go. Again, let's start with the waterfall because waterfalls are just too loud. <sighs> still hate that they didn't give us like an option to turn down certain sounds. That's such a normal thing in games. Like it's such a normal thing to be able to to control the music like separately from the sounds and also like lower the volume of the sounds or something like that. And like specific sounds too, like in Stardew you can completely change the the volume of I think footstep sounds. Like why can't you do that in in Animal Crossing? I mean the footsteps not so much, but honestly the waterfalls I just you want to build like a cozy and peaceful island and then you want to make this like cutesy spot with like waterfalls and then it's just like heckin' loud because waterfalls. It's kind of upsetting. <laughs> it's kind of upsetting. That was one of the good things about having the island with like no cliffs whatsoever because there's no waterfalls and therefore it's quite, it's, it's quite quiet, you know, that's, that's pretty amazing. Um, but... We're gonna have to work with this. And speaking of waterfalls, I'll have to start thinking about how I want to make my entrance because that's gonna be something that we decorate first. Although, before we do that, there's still a bunch of stuff happening. Of course, the villager hunting or um, I believe we're gonna be uh, all the code shopping. I have to find codes. I still have not even looked for that many codes. I have a few, but I feel like because I wanted to split it up into finding like path codes and then like filler and and um, and fabric codes or something. I don't think I could fill like an entire episode with path codes because I don't have like enough. But we'll see. We will see. Um, and I feel like after this this cliff water is gone, we might take a short little like we'll do a little cut here and then switch to the next episode, um, which I might actually start a new day so that we can see if the DLC stuff worked. So that we can maybe go and start doing that one because it confuses me. I want to know what happened. <laughs> okay, so I'll go stand here by the water um, and say uh, thank you so much for watching this episode. And if you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the future episodes as well. And then I hope you have an awesome, awesome time until I see you in the next episode, which is going to be tomorrow. Bye, everyone.